Hi Libras, welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is a bonus November 27th, 2017 reading. I've already uh, shuffled, prayed over, blessed the stones, uh, cards with my stones and now am uh, about ready to get into whomever's energies I am pulling for this general reading. If you'd like a personal reading, I'm available at josiek42 at gmail.com. Just email me and we'll set up the process. It's quick and easy. And then I attach your video right to your email and you can download it and save it forever. All right, so the energies I'm pulling at this time are energies of some sort of a discontent message coming in. And this message gets you guys pretty focused because you're working on material gain. Now in your thoughts, whoever's energies these are, this is the Wisdom of the House of Night deck by PC Cast and Colette Baron reed and this is the Sacred Circle Tarot by Anna Franklin and Paul Mason. So in the thoughts position for these Libra energies are the grounding, trying to figure out how to ground yourself and get out of your head over maybe someone who shined brightly, who caught your attention, who, um, of course, this is for singles, uh, who may have been very handsome or attractive or whatever, um, but maybe not so much deep within because of the message that comes. Now, when that message comes or is coming or has come, we have energies of letting go, of taking time to reflect, to understand that with the Page of Cups, uh, pages are just kind of a message and sometimes we blow them out of proportion. Therefore, we need to stop and reflect on what this message truly could involve into, evolve into because a lot of them just don't. So it's a matter of is this offer going to give me what I want or is it not? And, you know, try not to get too focused on it. Pray about it. Let it be. Um, in the recent past here, we have... Hold on, I don't want to cross my cards, which I did. Goodness gracious. Okay, thank you. Listening. Not to what people are saying, to what is not being said. Okay, the actions of others in the past cause discord. And now there's discontent, maybe when it comes to financial gain. You're trying to get very focused and determined when it comes to messages, watching and focused on what other people are doing. And it's time to really just get grounded to remember, especially with this, it's also a card that tells you that you are beautiful. You are beautiful all the way down to the center of your being, down to the last cell within your body, because you are a spirit, a soul from heaven, just like the rest of us. We are created by something very beautiful. And therefore, in the next four to six weeks, we can choose to be going through some sort of fluctuation, imbalance, not feeling balanced, money in, money out, emotions up and down, or we can decide what it is that we want to summon into our path. Because really everything that happens in our path is something that we summoned whether we chose it consciously, subconsciously, or spiritually, we chose it nonetheless because we somehow needed to learn from a process, a path, a connection, an environment, another person in order to learn to move forward with that knowledge, to make better choices, to find more answers in life. And maybe in the next two to three weeks, Spirit's saying it'd be a good time to use your individuality when it comes to focusing on what you can build. How can one of your skills help for you to create a small business? Spirit saying you shine brightly like that beautiful rose and it's your individuality that makes you so completely special and different than every single soul. Now is the time for rebirth. 
Now is the time to give yourself a brand new path, to know that Spirit's wanting to give you this brand new path. And it comes from the number two. Two plus zero is two. Could be second baby rebirth. Looking at that new path for the very first time. But I feel also this is you guys choosing to either look at that new path as complicated or on this day to say, this is my brand new path I am blessed with. And I am going to shine like the sun upon it. That is what I will summon. And that was a message from spirit. That was beautiful. So um, what do we have here? We have resolution. Hoping for a resolution. Hoping, wishing, and praying. So how are these hopes? How are these fears? Is there, are there fears? Of having what you're wishing for are there fears of resolution are there fears of people coming together connecting with one another know that in your outcome position you have recovery the end of this path is arriving with a nine that means it's time to lay the path down it's up to you to choose to do so okay this is your path do you want to give it one more chance or do you just want to lay it down and start over? In your outcome position with the wisdom of the house of night deck, spirit says yes. Take that risk. Lay down the path. Move forward anew. Be reborn. And let that be what you are summoning in. Beautiful messages. In a three card summary to my right, we have the High Priestess of Air. She's gonna help guide some of you when it comes to who, what, and how you cut something out of your path, could be with finances, because you got the High Priestess of Earth here as well, saying I will help guide you when it comes to finances. You are not trapped. It's up to you if you want to bring anything to a conclusion in your path or not. In the meantime, Listen to the High Priestess of Fire, who's going to help to guide you to fulfillment, self-fulfillment, individuality. How can you manifest something that you can wish for and take a risk, maybe, to create your own business, art? By the middle of the week, there could be some clear understanding. Spirit will come in and show you something. Show you this path help to ground you. Ask spirit to help bring in your gift so you can share that gift with others. In the outcome position, we have loyalty. Remember not only it's important to be loyal to others, but to also be loyal to ourselves when it comes to being playful. But also remember that you are both cats. One is black, one is white. But no matter what they are, I mean <laughs> what they are, they're cats. My point is, is they have both been down different roads, experienced different things, and have different viewpoints because of it. And that's okay. So whoever's energies these are, spirit saying, it's okay. Learn to be loyal to yourself first and to check both the honesty of others and the honesty of your own self. This is a time where we are all having to go within and look at what it is we've been in denial about. This is how the year is going to end so blessings can come in. It's time to be obedient to some sort of family, rules, business, rules to get balance once again. And Spirit wants to help you. So think about how your perfect life would be, Libras. Meditate. Ask Spirit. Draw pictures. And you can manifest that. 
if you could manifest all the fulfillment in the world? Spirit saying what's most important is your self-worth, right? So there may be a bit of a glitch or concerns or worries this week about how everyone's going to come together again spray pray spray to peer, spirit <laughs> with the spirituality cup that someone important will bring fulfilling gifts messages could be a mother could be a friend And I think just put away the discussion of changes that need to take place. Focus on just harmony, and that's what your path is going to be, right? Period. Focus on creativity, like I was saying, in the next two to three weeks. Take new steps, set new goals, get new supplies, create and manifest, start a small business. The Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor, showing you this brand new path with the Lord. You're in that path, and this is your world, and there are animals, but you have yet to actually start creating what? Stability. So business looks good, especially small businesses for the next week. If you've been thinking of them, get going. Use the energies of the King of Wands. He sets goals and meets goals until he achieves what it is he sets out to accomplish. And then he observes and watches over. And he makes sure, like you will, right, that your skills will help for you to succeed. And your word for the week. Libra is optimism. I expect good things to happen, and they do. So I'm going to clarify. Okay, or not. This card counsels you to look for the blessings within your present situation, no matter how dire it seems. What have you learned from it? In what ways are you stronger now? As you see the current blessings, you attract more into your life. Mother Mary guides you to approach your life from a standpoint of gratitude. Optimism is a form of faith and trust in God. Studies show that optimistic people enjoy many health benefits. You can develop this trait by praying, God, please let me see the situation through your eyes. You'll unveil the light and love that currently reside within the situation. Be optimistic about the future as it is created by your present moment decisions and actions. Beautiful reading. By the way, I see long-term comfort and success at home. I also see the home card here, so I feel like there are many angels around the home, blessing the home, uh, making sure that there is happiness. And therefore, I hope you guys enjoy a wonderful, beautiful holiday season. Take care and God bless.